My first question is to the conservative candidate uh, Hatpri Singh. Your writing is infested with the issue of gangs, violence and drugs. What will be your party's strategy in order to control it? Thank you for having this debate today. Thank you for all of you for being here. It's an important question which you have raised today because this is where, after door knocking over 18,000 homes myself, I have found the people talking about these issues. Gang violence, how to stop it? Our party believes that laws should be toughened for the criminals. And along with that, our law enforcement agencies should be given the tools to fight this. Beef up border security, giving the latest technology to our law enforcement agencies so that they can tackle this. We know our law enforcement agencies are working hard day and night, but along with that, they need the tools which they are not getting. Apart from that, the Trudeau government is trying to ban or is banning people who are licensed holders of arms. Our party will repeal Bill C-71 because we believe it is not those people who have the legal firearms. It is the firearms which are coming from across the border. So we'll put a stop to that beef of the border security and that is how we feel this needs to be tackled. But along with that, there are other aspects also which need to be looked into. The most important thing is there are many organizations in our community who are working hard. Wake up Surrey, Surrey Crime Prevention Society. They are not getting the funds and we'll provide them the required funds. Thank you. Since Green Party candidate is not here, so next question goes to Liberal candidate Sukh Dhaliwal. Your writing is infested with the issues of gangs and drugs. What will be your party's position and strategy to control it? Being a parent to make sure our children are safe and our community is free of gun violence, I have always supported to toughen the legislation when it came to crime, whether it was brought up by the conservatives or the liberals, as NDP will never bring such legislation. When we got elected 2005, Surrey MPs, the first task was to make sure that the conservatives could not deliver the 100 police officers that Surrey needed, and we went to Ralph Cadell and we got that done. After that, $300 million over three years invested to make sure our kids are educated and brought forward that they don't get involved in, in gang activities. Also, we invested millions of dollars in our CBSA and RCMP to give them the tools and resources to deal with this crime. In fact, we also are going to increase 250 additional million dollars to deal with this situation. That is what we have done. We will continue to work more. Next question is to Harjit Singh Gill. Your writing is infested with the issues of gangs and drugs. What will be your party's strategy to control it? Thank you, uh, Thinsab and Red FM, for to giving us a platform where we can tell our stories. That's how I started to get on this seat. That's why I'm sitting on this seat. Because every day drive by shooting, kids are dying, kids are playing in a park. They are being kidnapped and killed in daylight. No one has spoken about that. We have three layers program, prevention, education, and placement. First of all, we have to check from where these guns and drugs is coming. From the Delta port, 2.4 million containers are coming every year. Only 12,000 is being inspected. We have to get that port police back on Delta port. Second, <laughs> second, we have to get those who are, they are few, 40 or 50 from our families. We have to get them in our labs and sit with them and ask them what are the issues. We have to re rehabilitate them and then we have to educate every parents and sit with them and dialogue them how to keep our community safe. Only money flowing and these promises is fake from conservative and liberal, they didn't do anything. Next, PPC candidate Holly Varshare. Your writing is infested with the issue of gangs and crime and drugs. 
What will be your party's strategy to control it? Well, I belong to the PPC. It's a brand new party. We haven't been in the government before leading, and um, I haven't, I'm not a career politician. But I have two sons. According to the RCMP, violent crime in our city is on the decline. Currently at the lowest level it's been in 10 years. I don't really see that as, uh, as, as true. Even so, dra gangs, drugs and crime are still too high. I believe they're growing. Let's speak of gangs first. Many young members come from middle to upper class homes and they aren't driven by, property, by poverty. They still live at home. They have uh, money available. Outrage over gang violence in Surrey moved that a new mayor was elected last year on the promise to replace the RCMP with a municipal police force. I know that uh, in advance of that they are working together with the Vancouver City Polar, uh, Force, dra gang squad and drug squad, and um, just gleaning every bit of information they can from them. Our new mayor, Doug McCallum, ran on a platform of having a new city police force, replacing the RCMP to be more effective. We need to ensure, however, that it happens, that we bring crime down. And as a federal government, we need to support any and all anti-crime initiatives. I will fight as hard as I can in Ottawa to make sure that we have the funding in Surrey that we need. Thank you. Thank you. Second question is also starting with uh, Holly, Holly Gorshre. If you form the next government, you will inherit the $4.5 billion Kinder Morgan pipeline. If court rejects the pipeline, what would you do with this company? Yeah, that's a big lemon, I think. Our government will sell the Trans Mountain pipeline to private investors, and we will build a new pipeline, twin it with the existing, using new technology that's safer and material to eliminate environmental and socioeconomic impact. This will put Canadians back to work. If the court rejects the pipeline, the PPC will attempt to use Section 9210. That gives the government, the federal government, the ability to build the pipeline without the province interfering because it is the best interest in Canada. Despite the emergence of alternative sources of energy, global demand for oil is expected to keep rising for several decades. Canada has the third largest oil reserves in the world and it's well placed to answer this demand. If the oil doesn't come from Alberta and Saskatchewan, it will come from elsewhere. Mostly countries with poor environmental or human rights standards such as Russia, Saudi Arabia and Venezuela. And if it's not transported by pipelines, it will be transported by rail, a much more dangerous method for both the environment and humans, as we saw with the lac Megantic tragedy. Mr. Sukh Dhaliwal, your government has bought Kinder Morgan Pipeline at $4.5 billion of taxpayers' money. If you lose the court case or you lose the election, what happens to this $4.5 billion pipeline? If we lose the election, then it's for the Conservatives to make those decisions. But if we get re-elected, if we get re-elected, we will make sure that this pipeline get built even if we have to legislate. And that is what we are going to do because this is going to create opportunities for our young people. The resource industry is key because we are one of the fastest economy, one million jobs created right here in Canada. And this is the type of investment we need because all the profit that's going to come off this pipeline in the range of $200 million a year minimum, we are going to invest that in green technology to help with green jobs. And we will also work with the environmentalists as well as First Nations to make sure that this project go ahead and get built. That is why I, along with my fellow members in here, support this pipeline. Mr. Harjit Singh Gill, if you form the next government, you will inherit this $4.5 billion Kinder Morgan pipeline. 
if court rejects the pipeline what would you do with this pipeline friends uh, whatever it is this is not kinder morgan's pipeline this is canadian's pipeline as mr sukhdali was said to harpi singh he is going to put dead snake on his neck that's what it is all about kinder morgan is kinder morgan is owned by canadians now within 5 years within 10 years what will be this world like it's not feasible we are deadly against it by any ways with someone we get in heredity heredity we have to uh, tackle with it same uh, sujit ram was asked about the lng project and for this they are two different is one party two tier program is real democracy that's the bc ndp ndp project for 40 billion dollars we have to deal with it whatever it is you know kinder morgan because kinder morgan is um, walked away trudeau put 4.5 billion dollar our money without asking us the same token that's why he is riding in two planes to to do um, campaign one he is riding with one he got equipment and we have to pay kids are dying on the streets in sri newton we don't have any funds to tackle with that he he put our 4.5 billion dollar on a pipeline where the world is going to denounce that we are to going towards clear and renew, uh, renewable energy <laughs> mr harpreet singh if you form the next government you will inherit this 4.5 billion dollars kinder morgan pipeline if court rejects it the pipeline and then what would you do with this company mr thing it's not a question of if we have my uh, honorable member parliament from sir newton has already announced that the conservatives are forming the government so thank you so my focus is going to be on a few things we I know do. we are a resource based country and our pipelines have been from the front we have said that we are in favor of building pipelines so we will build a single energy corridor whereby all this process of delaying tactics will be stopped we know we have so much resources and we are getting our oil from countries like saudi arabia when the oil comes it doesn't fall from air it comes through ships and ships use coal and other energy isn't that pollution so our country's resources will be used judicially and we will invest and we'll get foreign governments to come over here in case if uh, the courts say that you have you are not allowed to build this we will still go for it in all the indigenous communities also because we know that our growth depends upon our resource industry but along with that of course with the renewable energy also much in vogue we'll be focusing on that and the most important thing is we are going to build a, a, a repeal bill c69 which is no more pipeline bill introduced by the liberals because we believe our country can succeed only if we build the pipelines so my focus will be in sri newton basically to bring more jobs through getting the people involved so we know that we cannot progress there is shortage of jobs over there at one side we say like we want more people to come into jobs but on the other hand we are thank using you. other tactics thank you now the third and the final question is we're going to start clockwise uh, with the conservative candidate harpreet singh canadians are paying the highest cell phone bills if you form the next government how would you make these cell phones affordable it's not the question just of the cell phones we are paying for everything which is now more and more it is becoming difficult to survive here in canada we came to canada because we felt there are a lot of opportunities but unfortunately we are not seeing those opportunities so it is not only reducing the cost of the phone bills but we will also scrap the carbon tax because we believe that the carbon tax is not doing what it should do and the example is in british columbia just recently you must have read a report whereby it was proved that carbon emissions have gone up by 1.2% which shows that imposing taxes on the people is not the right answer so we are going to scrap the gst on home heating bills we will be lowering the income taxes we we believe it is the people who should have the opportunity and the right to decide how they want to spend the money it is none of the government's job to decide how the people spend their money so reducing the income taxes giving corporate welfare to companies like loblaws we'll finish off with that because they don't need 12 million dollars to buy refrigerators so that money will be used for the common people age incentives for 
for the elders and for uh, for the younger generation we will bring in tax credits so that we can send our children for learning for playing outside so all this is being done keeping the middle class in mind because we believe small businessmen are not cheats they are the foundation of this economy and the maximum benefit should go to them thank you mr sukh dhaliwal canadians are paying the highest cell phones cell phone bills and your leader has announced to lower the cell phone bills by 25% but the details are very vague and ambiguous what is the real plan when it comes to affordability our government has invested money in child care bringing the taxes down for ordinary working class families they are $2000 better off bringing the small business tax to 9% one of the best in 12 nations and when it comes to reducing the bill for cell phones we believe there should be a affordability and we are going to make sure that we bring in companies that are competitive and affordable to deal with this situation and if those companies do not work our gauging people will make sure that the crtc gets in to deal with this situation to bring the affordability when it comes to cell phones because it not only helps the ordinary working class families but it also helps the small business which we have done over the last four years to bring their taxes down to 9% ever the best in G7 nation Mr Harjeet Singh Gill Canadians are paying the highest phone bills if you form the next government how would you make these cell phones more affordable both parties are copycatting our jagmeet singh's plan he is the first who started that he have to bring telephone consumer bill that's the last leg of affordability affordability the first is pharma care in our platform prescription drugs to be filled mental and dental mental health starts are today is that 7.5 million canadians are affected with mental health health number 2 16 months waiting period 50 billion dollar in economy to we have to spend that to treat them then 70% of them is unemployed unemployed then last it comes to the phone tudo government gave 50 million dollar subsidy to big uh, telecommunication giants because they lobby lot they went 600 times to in last four years to ottawa then 700 million contract to them we are paying paying 73 times more than india three times more than finland australia is charging two two about 50% less than us we have to get that consumer will and every family is going to save if they have two lines 250 dollars that's what jagmeet singh is plan is and they are all following it holy worshery canadians are paying the highest cell phone bills if you form the next government how would you make the cell phones more affordable well i'm going to kick them out <laughs> kick the crt out and i'm allowing competition or in competition and other competition to come in and lower the prices free market and that's how we're going to fix it the crtc needs to get out of the telecom industry and foreign competition needs to be allowed more competition is the right plan for canada we need foreign investment better services lower prices so that's what we're doing also Uh, the PPC is also going to um, abolish corporate welfare. That will put five billion dollars back into our economy. We're lowering the taxes for everybody under fifteen thousand people. Under if you make under fifteen thousand dollars a year, zero taxes. Fifteen thousand to one hundred thousand, you'll pay a flat rate of fifteen percent. Over a hundred thousand, a flat rate of twenty-five percent. Um, small businesses will businesses will be lowered uh by to ten, by 5% down to 10% that will allow them to buy more equipment pay higher get more employees in 
We're just going to put money back in your pocket so that you can afford homes or extra things for your family. Thank you. This concludes the round one. Round two. Crossfire Kennedy to Kennedy questions. Crossfire time. Now each candidate can ask two questions to two different opponents directly in a civilized language. You cannot ask both the questions to the same candidate. We'll start anti-clockwise with Holly Vershray. Holly? Oh, my questions. Yes, I do. <laughs> Thank you, sorry, forgot about my mic. I do have questions, actually, for Suk Daliwal. Please explain Justin Trudeau's remarks, there is no core identity, no mainstream in Canada. Trudeau said that he sees Canada as the first post-national state, yet I see as immigrants come into our country, they assimilate, mostly the second or third generations, and our party wants to see everyone keep their core values in their home. We just don't want to, we just want to know what your plan is. The plan is very clear. There is a one leader that believes in diversity, believes in immigration, and you know your leader, what he has said. He does not believe in multiculturalism. The multiculturalism, when it comes to multiculturalism, when it comes to Canada flag, when it comes to immigration, when it comes to equality that is enshrined in our, char in our constitution through Charter of Rights and Freedom, these are the liberal governments that brought forward. And that is what we believe in, and that is what Justin believes in, and that is what we will keep on believing to make sure that every Canadian is equal and country is still a multicultural country. Thank you. You can ask one more question. I do have another question. For me, I'm very my, good with you. My friend beside me. <laughs> there we go. Please explain how you will find the new, how you will fund the new problems in your platform, dental care especially. Where will you find the money? You know, let me tell you, there is a twenty billion dollars every year flowing out of country. They are tax dodging. We have to stop that then we have to get all those providers, big companies, pharmaceutical companies, and sit with them and get them to get us drugs on good price. That's what the money is coming from there. The same money as Trudeau got for $4.5 billion for the pipeline, we are going to get that money here. Haji Singh Gill, you can ask two questions. First of all, to my friend uh, Harpi Singh, he's very gentle, very loving, very caring, and he has the same value as I have, as the human rights. I remember him um, leading a mob to stop Lambert Singh at the airport. That was one of the best a journalist can do. I don't know why he went to Jason Kenney's Mosa King party sort of thing, that he tarnish our, tarnish our family our social fabric and stop our family reunification and turn, turn, it to, turn it to super visa. And where our parents are sitting from last 10 years, we have pretty much same value. Come back. Get an NDP. Thank you for the invitation. Thank you very much. Uh, and on that note, first of all, thanks for those remarkable remarks about me. And I'll continue with that because uh, that's what we as Canadians are proud of. So the question is, my values match the conservative values. For example, fiscal responsibility. We have been always told, live within your means. Don't just borrow and keep on spending and spending and put on debt and uh, just deficits, which is ultimately meaning more taxes on common people like you and me, which the uh, liberals are doing. Secondly, my values match some of the values, religious values match the conservative value. I'm also proud that my party was not in favor of legalization of marijuana, but your party and your leader is now saying, open it up, while we religious people say that even Guru's horse did not go near the field of the tobacco field, why are we asking for legalization of marijuana? So my dear brother, I request you come to our side, because our values are more important than your values. Thank you. Ajit <laughs> Singhal, you may ask one more question. 
Now my question to Netaji. <laughs> Why you think you are only fit to rep represent Surrey Newton? Six MP elections, one councillor election, MP, then MLA, then MP. Why you are the only with rocket science and you feel you are the fittest? Number one, you al always talk about the youth. What type of mentorship we can give if we are l writing letter in the favor of notorious gangsters and put vote in the favor of marijuana? Number two. Number three. No, only okay, then two are enough. Answer them. When I came to Canada, Canada is a beautiful country that has given me and my family everything. This community helped me to succeed in my business as well as my personal life. I wanted to give it back to the society. And my passion is to be accessible and make sure that I listen to the people and deliver for them in Ottawa. And that is what I have done over the last many years and I will continue to do that until and unless the people of Sadie Newton have a faith and trust in me. When it comes to handling the crime situation, I already said earlier that we as liberal members of parliament, we fought for Sari and Sari got seven and a half million dollars out of 30 million dollars that has been assigned to British Columbia to deal with the gang violence and you know what your leader did? 20 million dollars a year to the whole of Canada. What is coming to Sari? Nothing, Harjeet, to deal with this situation. Uh, next question, uh, Sukh Dhaliwal, you can ask two questions. Thank you. Uh, so first question to my yes. younger brother, Harjeet. Uh, Harjeet, you differ on many issues with your leader. Your leader, Jagmeet Singh, want to decriminalize all hard drugs, including cocaine, opium, which is called opium, and all those drugs. But you oppose legalizing marijuana. When it comes to supporting a resource industry, seem like from your talk, you are in favor of supporting the resource industry and your leader is opposing that. When it comes to immigration, your leader supports immigration and you are not supporting the immigration. When you made a decision in April to join NDP, don't you think you should have joined the conservatives to deal with this situation? First of all, legalize and decriminalize are two things. Our leader said if someone is caught by gram of marijuana, he should be not penalized. He should be decriminalized, but your leader took that as the legalize. That's the two different phrases you are intervening with both. I don't know where you are right, number one. Number two, for the immigration, I clearly said that we are pro-immigration. We need those people to be here, but we need family reunification, skilled worker category, and clean immigration. Not like that, the $50,000 price for LMIA in your constituency. <laughs> and it was major news, it was major news in Globe and Mail, you didn't give a single statement on that. Then one crooked immigration consultant is robbing your constituents. Have you ever said a single word? No. We, we, brought in, we brought in the legislation to legislate those corrupt immigrant consultants. Legislature is another thing. Your personal responsibility is to come in and front and denounce that. Did. That is what we did. Uh, you can ask one more question, Mr. Dhaliwal. My question now will be to my... Bob, when, uh, I'm already the MP Harpreet. for you. Harpreet, you believe in diversity, yeah. so do I, so does our leader believes in diversity. When it comes to Bill C-21 in Quebec, would your leader, Andrew Scheer, will stand with liberal leader Justin Trudeau to repel this Bill C-21 if ever comes there? 
Thank you very much for this beautiful question because it relates to all of us. First of all, I have been always an advocate for human rights. Wherever there has been human rights violation, I have talked about that. And secondly, when it comes to Quebec, we are proud to be Canadians, but this Bill C-21 is absolutely denounceable. And I condemn this personally, and I'll be a strong voice and speak against it. Secondly, if you remember, when Mr. Harper was the Prime Minister, Gurbad Singh, a football player, he was stopped from wearing the patka to play football. And at that time, my party, I'm proud of it, it stood their ground and they said that we will fight against it. But now, right now, Mr. Justin Trudeau is just paying lip service and he has not done anything. So I will ask my leader, because the job of a parliamentarian is not to just blame the bureaucrats, like Randeep Sarai said, OFSI. If it is for the bureaucrats to do, then what are you paid for? You should sit at home. The job of a politician is to talk for the people. And everybody knows I have been always speaking for the people, and this is what I'll continue to do so. And I'm proud of it, that wherever diversity is at, we are proud as Canadians that cultural diversity exists in Canada. You haven't this answered is a social, my question. This is a cultural fabric. This is a cultural fabric and I have announced, I have answered your question. Right, you no, no, I have time, question. sir. I have time. So, question is, you forgot to tell Harjeet's answer about the letter you wrote to a drug dealer. You forgot that. Yes. No, Mr. Harpri Singh, you can ask two questions. Thank you, sir. So first of all, Mr. Sukh Dhaliwal, thank you for being a member of parliament because it takes a lot of energy, time and resources. You have to leave your private life and then you come into the public life. You are very passionate about helping the middle class. But mind you, you have been a member of parliament for three terms, I think, so three or four? Three, right. So in this term, unfortunately, Surrey Newton is the only riding in the whole of the country which has 57% of poverty for lone parents. What a shame. Opiate crisis is here and you are a champion of diversity and you say I look after the middle class families But you are the one when Andrew Scheer on June 6, 2008 Stood in the parliament and said we want to give maternal benefits Paternal benefits to the middle class you oppose this what is this double standard? Why in the public you say you are in favor of the middle class, but in parliament you are against this I Actually, this is a good question. You know what we did? We help the ordinary working class family, the middle class family. You know, first thing, first will be brought in, Harpreet, yes. was to reduce the taxes. Every family in Surrey Newton and in Surrey is $2,000 better off. And you know what we did? We brought in a landmark Canada child benefit. That is helping 14,000 families in Surrey Newton. My question eight is simple, sir. Dollars. June 6, eight, 2018, eight why million, did you oppose this? Eight million dollars a month coming into Surrey Newton to help those children. Then why are 57 you know percent people are you know children who opposed it? it is your leader who opposed oh, all those. Oh my God, and, I have a proof and, here. I have a proof here, ladies and gentlemen. Bill. Look at the and, proof here. And you know what we did? Share when lies. It comes Share to lies. small business, we are the ones who brought down the small business taxes down because if you look at Surrey Newton, every I, day my question is simple, sir. Say, say, my question is simple. Why did you oppose this bill? I did not oppose. I tell you right now. Oh, there I, it is. I, oh! I did not oppose the, helping the middle class family. What oh, I did is, is I supported to make sure that we bring in a affordable child care, affordable care for our seniors, and the investment. Thank you. Anybody can take this whenever now. you want. Thank you very much. Uh, Harpreet Singh, you can ask another question. Question, to whom? Okay, Holly, from you, uh, if you can tell us, uh, are you from the city of Surrey or you have come from somewhere else and uh, how, what is your political or experience as, uh, in which field you have worked before? Thank you for asking that. I wanted to bring it up in my closing remarks. My name is Holly Rocher. I do live in, in Surrey. I live in South Surrey. And um, the member for the People's Party of Canada that was to represent Surrey Newton on Wednesday, had a, last Wednesday, had a family emergency and had to step down. I believe that everyone in Surrey Newton should have a choice of all the parties. And so I stepped up on Thursday, got my signatures, got approved uh, at one o'clock in the afternoon, just uh, an hour before closing by Elections Canada. 
Um, I'm happy to be here. I'm starting uh, to knock on doors and reading in the paper and asking friends that live in Newton what the concerns are. I'm, um, I'm really happy to be here. What was the other Thank part you. of your no, question? No yeah, that's, that's uh, well, I want to talk a little bit more. Um, as far as experience that I have, because I still have 16 have seconds. Um, I'm retired from, I worked for an airline for 41 years. I left the last five years, we're in management. I'm used to dealing with um, a lot of problems and a lot of time-related problems. Right now being retired, I have a lot of time to devote. I have all the time in the world to devote. I am proud of my two wonderful sons that are both professional. They have left the home and they're living their own life and I'm ready to go. Thank you. Thank you. This concludes the round two. Round no. three. Questions from the floor. I would like to invite my colleagues Jaspreet and Gurvinder on the stage to bring the questions and boxes. Each candidate will draw two names, one by one, the box dedicated to you. Phone number 1858, Rajinder Singh. Please stand up. Uh, first of all, uh, I'm really happy that I'm talking in front of everybody and bringing the main issues in front of every party candidates. And I'm thank you to the provincial candidates also here, as well as the federal candidates. Uh, some are exi uh, existing MLAs and some are the cabinet members already. My question to you is like, as we all know, construction is the main backbone of this BC and we have paid the most taxes in this province and we are still paying that. But we have been neg neglected so far because of the stress test. And my two, I have a two questions right now. Uh, we, when we buy a home, we pay the property transfer tax. A part of it goes to the provincial, I think a part of it goes to the federal government. And then we pay every, ma every year the property, ta property tax for that, uh, provincially, to the provincial government or the local municipal government. So our concern is when we build the house right now, this was a free market and this, this got controlled by federal government as well as the provincial governments. As you already said, that there should, the, whenever the government fails, I'll say, that is a failure of the policy makers, not the leaders. So policy makers, when fail, they fail the government or the existing government. So my concern is right now, there are a lot of houses which are not getting sold, not even on the property assessed value. So if we sell the house, we take a big loss, depending on where it is, whether it's a small builder or a big builder. So we want to know from you guys, as soon as we rent the house, because everybody is crying, NDP is crying, other parties are crying, oh, there is a vacancy, this is a vacancy tax, this tax. Now we rent that house, we don't want to take the loss, we don't have ability to take the loss, and then the GST becomes liable at that stage, legally. So we want this liberal government, as well as you guys, to listen to this, what will be the policy for you guys, we should be able to defer this GST for at least a three years with reasonable interest rate, which we, I think all the builders will be happy to pay that, which is the government of Canada's rate. And what is your policy on that? Even if you guys win, fine. If you don't win, we need to listen from the other candidates. Let him answer your question. Yes. Oh, another question, quick question for them. No, one question, please. Thank you for the... <clears throat> Thank you for raising this very important question because it matters to us. We South Asians, a lot of people are involved in real estate in one way or the other. Whether it is uh, realtors, mortgage brokers, developers, builders or tradesmen, they have suffered a lot because of the stress test. And that is why our leader has already announced as far as the stress test is concerned, it will not be in the form it is right now because all the people will not be impacted by that. And as far as, again, I pointed out, my dear colleague, my friends pointed out, it is the job of OSFI. Sorry, sir, it is not the job of the bureaucrats. It is our job to stand for the rights of the people, not just defer it to them that they are not doing it. Then what are we chosen for by the people? 
So our job is to talk for their rights and I'll be a strong voice for you in Ottawa for this particular issue. Why? Because I see my community suffering a lot on this. So as far as GST uh, deferment is concerned, I absolutely agree with you that uh, people should be given the benefit because why should a builder be given all that trouble who has invested money, who is paying loan for that, who is paying insurances and all the burden falls on them if the house doesn't sell. So definitely the government should come forward and think on those lines where we can defer the GST and also other issues are we need a strong economy and strong economy is only built if small businesses survive and thrive and that is we as conservatives are known for we always believe in free trade and we will focus on these aspects thank, thank you. you so one more slip you can take there's just one slip okay next is uh, clockwise going to Mr. Sukh Dhaliwal. Gurdeep Gill, 4555. Please, uh, let me, hold on, hold on. Ask the question in English. Ask me. I will translate because other people there they won't understand. That's the format. We are talking about $8 billion or $1 billion of children benefit. ਉਹ ਸ਼ਾਇਦ ਮੈਂ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਦੱਸਣਾ ਚਾਹਣਾ ਕਾ ਤੋਂ ਆ ਰਿਹਾ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਐਲ ਐਮ ਓ ਹੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਬਿਜ਼ਨਸਮੈਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਇੰਨੀਆਂ ਕੁ ਵੇਚਤੀਆਂ ਉਹ ਉਹਦੇ ਕਰਕੇ ਆ ਰਿਹਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਲੋਕ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਆ ਅੰਡਰ ਇਨਕਮ ਰਹਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਦੈਸ ਵਾਈ ਚਿਲਡਰਨ ਬੈਨੀਫਿਟ ਇੰਨਾ ਆ ਰਿਹਾ ਜੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ 16 ਸਾਲ 17 ਸਾਲ ਐਮ ਪੀ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਇੱਥੇ ਇੰਨੀਆਂ ਜੌਬਾਂ ਦਿੰਦੇ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ 8 ਬਿਲੀਅਨ ਡਾਲਰ ਸੀ ਉਹ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ 50 ਲੱਖ ਹੀ ਰਹਿ ਜਾਣਾ ਸੀ ਹੀ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਨੋ about this 8 million dollars he thinks that is came from the sale of the lmia what's your answer actually we have created he talked to me about creating jobs we created 1 million jobs high paying jobs when it comes to poverty we have raised 850000 people out of poverty and 3000 of those 300000 of those are children why because we brought in this landmark policy canada child benefit we give it to those families that need it unlike the conservatives they were giving checks handing it checks to whether you are making million dollar or you are making a dollar this is the policy that i'm very proud because we are helping 14000 families in sri newton those young families that want to work and be part of productive canada and we are going to do more we are going to create 250000 more spots child care spots for before and after school so as the families young families that are working longer hours they should be able to take the advantage of the situation it is any more questions harpreet gill 2555 uh, actually i was uh, supposed to put up a uh, paper in uh, mr harpreet singh's box is it okay can i ask him the question sure. no sorry okay. Yeah. Okay, yes. no yeah. i don't waste the question i will ask next mr. time mr sukhtaliwal Uh, Mr. Sukhtaliwal, you are always seen at all the social events in Surrey. And is it necessary to go all the weddings and the funerals that you go to? Excellent question. In fact, I, I want to tell you this, Harpreet. The work that MP does in Ottawa, I have done my work 
whether it was representing and taking your voice or, or people's voice there. I am on the International Trade Committee. I have traveled across the globe to do my duty. But on my own family time and my own time, because I am part of this community, community has adopted me as their family member and I take a pride to go to all these events so I make myself accessible to them. When they are there, they can ask me any question and I listen to them and their policies and their desires and I take it to Ottawa because I would never ever, because my critics, you know why they say it? Because they cannot do it. They do not have a passion to go and be part and parcel of the families that have helped me to get to Ottawa, that they have given me the privilege to represent them. And I again repeat, this is not coming out of MP time, this is coming out of my own and my family time, and I'm very proud. Mr. Harjit Singhil can take two questions. I won't search, I just take it out like this. Sangaji, 1075. Mr. Sangha. Ji. Anji, Paji. Paji, I'm going to ask you a question. Can you tell me about it? Yes, sure. Anji. Paji, you have been in your life. 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 एक इंद ये तो पोर्ट दे लेशन कोई ना कोई उन्हें न पूछना होता ही क्वेश्चन करना ना वो कहने जी सानू आठ बजे जाके कोई जिधर ने दे मिनिस्टर ऑफ गाले नहीं साथी सोन दे ये तुष्य में बांट जाने हैं तो ताड़ी भी गाल सोन तो सोन के क्या नाम सोन के भी की करोगे दी मिस्टर गेल ही वांट टू आस्क दैट व्हेन ही हैड अ मीटिं that uh, ministers don't listen to us. If you are elected in the event you become an MP, would they listen to you or not? Um, my brother is asking about a meeting of truckers when on the record Mr. Sukhdariwal said our transport minister is not listening to us. That's what he's mean to not, me? That's not what I said. Okay, it's on record, on video. I never said we. I said I. We is escaping road always. Mr. Dalibal said we, we, we. No, I said I. I always stood for my community if it's a taxi or trucking or uh, any construction related issues, any, you name it from last 10 years. If I'm in government, I'm in Ottawa and they are not listening to me, it will take five hours flight from Ottawa. I'll come back and resign in second day. This is my word on record. Keep this, keep this video now. Thank you. We have another question. Gagan Singh, one three one three. Don't, don't be buddy. Ask me tough question. He's your friend. No, 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 don't worry. I know what you are saying. Hold on, please. Ask. <laughs> Mr. Taliwal, I used to be your friend in last election. And I yes. still say that. I remember that. I still say your friend. Okay. Yes. It's, it's my thing that I'm supporting anybody. It's my constitutional thing. It's not a crime. I didn't and say that. Mr. Thin, um, पंजाबी भाषा के अपनी माँ बोली में प्रमोट करने के लिए मैं अंग्रेजी भी सवाल कर सकता सगा जी पर मैं ये सवाल जरा अपनी माँ बोली के करूँगा जी शुक्रिया यस थैंक यू दो हज़ार तेरह तो असी पोर्ट ट्रकर्स के लिए लड़ते हैं जी तकरीबन भीर जी ने सिर्फ यही सवाल है जिमें भीर जी ने पहलों इस सवाल कर लिया पर इस सवाल का एक वक्रा एंगल जो दो हज़ार तेरह तो एक भी जितने भी लिबरल सरकार बनी है उन्हें एक भी काम में जड़ा या वो बहुत आ साढे पाखड़ा नहीं हुआ हाँ जी carry on please yes so we 
गगन सिंह प्लीज कैरी ऑन आस्क यूर क्वेश्चन सवाल पूछो जी सवाल भी जी यही आ कि जिम्मे पहले वीर ने पूछा सवाल कि तुम पार्टी लाइन के बज तो नहीं जाओगे जे थोड़ा मिनिस्टर थोड़े बारे नहीं सुनता कि तुम पार्टी के नाल खड़ोंगे या तुम अपनी कंस्टिट्यूएंसी के खड़ोंगे दूजी गल कि इस चीज न फोकस करोगे कि तुम ऑटवा के बह के साथ हकों लड़ो ना कि तुम लोगों के ब्याह भोगा से अपनी प्रेजेंस दिखा लो जी शुक्रिया जी His question is that uh, uh, since 2013, he has been fighting, and you have been fighting for the truckers of the port. He wants to know when you go to Ottawa, you will stand by the party lines, or would you stand with them? Our party line is common person's party, Islam and the party. We always stand for workers it's very clear and that's what mr jagmeet singh said affordability is there if we have good jobs and a good tax system then we can survive that's what you know specifically for gagan singh uh, he was not driving a truck but he was leading that movement of 1700 truck drivers which means about 5000 families and i stood with them shoulder to shoulder from 5 years there was no mean to run for office on that time i was a broadcaster and i fought from them if the time comes with, with, between constituency and constituents and party then i will choose my constituents because my party line is constituents party line it's very simple it's common man's party so layman's party so i don't have to back my party i'm proud to be a a party uh, which is led by siraj jagmi singh who started from his life from uh, from uh, grow when he lost his roof his father was addicted and he didn't have anything but he survived now he is leader of federal ndp party i will stand with the party platform and it is public platform layman's platform thank you Holly Worshery You have no questions. Thank you. Well, could I just make a comment on the trucking question? And uh, there is no question. No. Oh. There's no question for you. This okay. concludes the round 3. Round 4, closing pitch. Now the candidates can make their own closing pitch. No. Holly Worsher you can make your pitch Thank you very much I wanted to say that my dad was a trucker and he worked hard his whole life and I went on many trips with him and I stand and my family stand behind all truckers all the time all the way no matter what I wanted to say that um the people's party of Canada Canada will abolish capital gains tax that's put 7 billion dollars back into our country also i'm very passionate about healthcare in this country uh, the right now the system is that provinces get tax credit they're earmarked for general revenue provinces should be using them for medical they're not they're also hand tied by the um, health act in canada People's Party of Canada would change that use the 40 million GST to give tax credits and let the provinces be responsible for their own innovation. Mr. Harjeet Singh Gill in closing very clear choice Sri Newton constituents have to make whether we don't want our youth dying or we want them safe. I promise here with you if I get chance I will get all your youth and work i will give the mentorship and they will be in groups and coming to your neighborhood and work for mp's office second affordability for the families pharma care dental mental everything is included that we are going to stay on that third infrastructure in your community there's not even even a single project been given to sari newton from last 20 years i am going to get a community center or a gym where we can mingle we can sit and there will be a clear choice thank you Mr. Sukhdaliwal 
Thank you, uh, Harjinder, to you and uh, Red FM for organizing this and to all the fellows that have come out today. Thank you. And I tell you, when it comes to standing with the constituents, there was a one instant where there was not a single member of parliament wanted to stand with their constituents when it came to human rights situation, the genocide of Delhi Sikhs. You know who stood with their constituents? There was only one member, that was the member from Sari Newton, that is Sukh Daliwal, and Gagan and many other Sikhs who are here today, they must be very proud of that. When it comes to bringing in the contributions of Sikhs, Sikh Heritage Month, Sukh brought forward. When it came to fighting the gun crime, all those money that's coming into Sari, along with my liberal members, we fought it. The choice is very clear. Liberal, go for Sukh Daliwal and liberal government. Thank you. Harpri Singh. Thank you very much to Red FM for organizing this debate. Democracy survives and thrives when people get a chance to participate. But of the 18,000 homes which I have personally knocked, people are losing faith in the politicians because they are saying on our faces, only during election time you are seen and then you disappear and what you promise you don't deliver. But we have to change this reality. And this reality can only be changed if we can bring in people of substance, people who have shown their character, their integrity. And for me and my campaign, my focus is on honesty and integrity and ethics. Because that is how we can be an inspiration to the younger generation who are going away from us. So now the duty and the time has come that you choose the right candidate. Lots of talks we have heard. But how much is it going to be fructified? This is what we have to see. Liberals are going to go. NDP has no chance. I have the character. I have the honesty. Give me a chance. Thank you very much. Thank you. All the candidates. I really appreciate you coming in. And the audience, without you, it wasn't possible to hold this debate. I want to thank all of my listeners and Red FM. And I want to thank all of my listeners and all of my listeners.